one of the greatest to ever jump on this arm wrestling table. He comes in six foot two, 248 pounds. I am talking about the living legend, Ron Bath. Six foot two, 248 pounds. 16-inch arms. And he is taking on the Red Deer Destroyer all the way from Canada. Six foot four, 253 pounds. This is the wild horse, Matt Mars. Six foot four, the tallest competitor here. 253 pounds. Wrestling for 43 years. That oh. is insane. It is absolutely insane, and we are ready. He was there when the Ten Commandments Ooh. were written. That's how long he's been arm wrestling just, for. Just take a breath. Just look at this. Look at the intensity from both of these guys. Wrist, wrist, wrist. Both are ready to go. Rotate, rotate. Oh, rotate the wrist. You can see it wrist there. Here. Wrist. Both wrist. men ready to go. Wrist. Wrist. He's, he's yeah. curling and firing okay. early every damn time. That's a mouth guard in, in, in Ron's mouth. If someone someone was like, what's going on? I want deep under my thumb. Ron Bath is the, <laughs> Over. He's the only bloke to blow bubbles in a mouth guard. Here we go. For Ron, definitely strap is much Way better option, and he as absolutely as it. knows it. He but absolutely go knows it. Thumb, but as high as you can to keep his mouth. He's, he's wrapping around. No, no, no. He's coming around wait, wait, my wait, hand wait, wait, more. I just got swallowed okay, up in his hand. Okay, it's my grip. It's the grip. Don't move your shoulders. I'm, I'm, I'm able to get what I want as long as I'm under your knuckle. Here we go. Go! Ready, bang! And straight Whoa! to the side. Oh, Matt oh. Mask has just gone. Look at that bang. fucking fire the shit up to me! Yes! Here's all kinds of fight up. Round one goes to Matt Mask. It doesn't matter when Matt Mask is on the table, you get excited. Took everything there. So fast, a lot of hand control, a lot of side pressure, a lot of back pressure and rotation. Just perfect execution of a top roll. Ron Bat needs that strap. He needs that strap. He cannot catch this bullet without the strap, in my opinion. Okay. Bat is the center this way. Not cupping the thumb. Okay. It's mostly guys shoulder, that like shoulder. to hook. Because you have a little better. Go! You can get deeper. Oh. Winner. I love you, buddy. I fucking love you. He's done it. Oh. Ah, hey. wow. Two nil. Matt Mask has come in and gone bang. We see Matt is ready. Matt is absolutely ready and he explodes with a perfect top roll, perfect hand control, just absolutely perfect execution. Matt Mask is just like a boiling kettle with the brimming of confidence. He's even gripping him low. Look how they, they, they're gripping so low. Just because he has more control of the wrist. I feel he feels that he has more control of everything, so he's giving up that height. Oh, oh. He's Run. got it there. Nah, he's got nothing for him there. 3-0. Three, zero. Three, zero. He did get a little bit of a stop there as we have a look at the replay, but Matt knew he could yeah. just put him to the sword, looked yeah. at him. Another bit of a, I love you, Ron, but I need this win. Yeah. The table's been smacked, and so has Ron Bath. Right now, we already see two guys on their way to end their losing streak, and we might see one a little bit later. Oh, we still have our main Wouldn't that event. be cool? Wouldn't that be cool? Oh, hell no. Right fucking there is where it was. <laughs> what will happen? Yeah. Yeah. Elbow foul on Ron Bath. Elbow foul on Ron Bath? Yeah. Are they? Is this the restart? I'm kind of confused right yeah, now. Yeah, so restart. Elbow fell on Ron Bath. Take the grip. Here we go. Take the grip. Go! There's a hit there. Bit of side pressure, but now Matt's in full control. Full control. He gets it. This. There's your Wins winner. A runner. Oh, a runner. One foul piece. You heard the call from Tim Talmage. Well, we Matt Mask, the wild horse, the mane is going everywhere. Can we get something yep. here from Ronatello? Can he hold on? His two, his two. Rotate, yeah. Rotate, I'm confused. Rotate, Maybe this, because they didn't switch sides, right? Or did they switch sides? Yeah, they switched. Did they switch? Because Ron was holding on his side. 
There's a hit there again. Matt in full control there. There it is. 4 nil. The two things I worried about you on is your ball. Nothing but respect for you, hey? Oh, okay. Nothing but respect. No. Oh. So we go to the instant replay. Right from the start, it was Matt Mash show. Just fast. Couldn't even get the slip. No straps in this one. Matt had superior hand control, superior back pressure, superior rotation. He was the superior armister on this one. But nothing to re but respect to Ron that. He is one of the heroes of Matt Mask, and Matt is very excited in this one. They have pulled multiple times and uh, exchanged wins and losses, but they never met fresh on fresh, and Matt was very excited to meet him fresh on fresh. He said before Ron retires, but he doesn't believe Ron will ever retire. Absolute masterclass on how to top roll. Tooks control, either from the start, even wins in the longer pins, keeps his wrist very flat, great. Yeah. When Matt Mask is winning, Armistling is winning. So Matt Mask on a winning streak would be something else. And he said this in an interview that it's time, he will change the tides and he will win big. And he did. Yeah, we see absolute control absolute domination from Matt Mask and we go to interview with the wild horse himself. Whoa, whoa, settle horsey, settle there wild horse, the job's done. Ladies and gentlemen, Matt Mask in a dominant display, put your hands together for the wild horse. Well, i got to ask, mate, hey, I feel like I'm a good luck charm to you. I've turned up and you won. What's it like being back on the winner's list? I think you got to follow me everywhere I go. <laughs> <laughs> you feel good. You feel great. I don't think everyone was expecting a huge battle. I don't think anyone expected a dominant display. Have you surprised yourself? Honestly, man, I was so stressed and worried about coming into this one. I wasn't sure how my level was going to be, where my strength level. I was dealing with so many aches and pains over the last couple of weeks after my match with Sergey. So... I didn't really know. I didn't have a chance to gauge myself. So it was pretty much just hoping I felt good. I was a little worried doing my warm up. I felt some tweaks in my brachialis, but when they called my name to the table, everything just went away. So it's, man, I'm just fucking happy to be here. <laughs> oh, mate, we're happy for you there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, at the end of round two, two dominant displays, you had to look at Ron and you had to tell him that you loved him. What was going through your mind then? Well, I just. Fucking love the guy, right? <laughs> you know, like I said, I've looked up to the man for so many years. It's I nothing but respect for the man. Nothing but respect. I hope I hope he turns around, goes home, Angie kicks him in the ass and fucking gets his ass back in gear and I hope we see him back here soon. So Well we were yeah, we were waiting for the phone call after three rounds, but you know, Ron, he just said he had no chance. Uh, it was brilliant. Matt, I oh, just genuinely hope. More wins. I hope it keeps going trajectory for you. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. The pride of Canada. Show them the flag. Show them the flex. The wild horse. Get in there. Loves it. Congratulations, Matt.